It has been so long since I've made a video. I think it's been like a month. So this is my temporary solution. Hi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I've made a video. I think it's been like a month. So I've missed you guys. How have you been? I guess this is going to be kind of an update video. I have not, I obviously, if you follow my channel, I've not made a video in about a month. So part of that is I've just been kind of too overwhelmed and YouTube has been the thing that was, that made the most sense for me to put down rather than try and overwork myself to the point of being really burnt out. So um, part of that is I have had a couple of events lately. I have one upcoming also. So I've just been trying to get plants ready for that and keep them ready. And that does take a lot of preparation. So it's more work than just like shipping plants from my website because everything has to be ready and visible right then and I have to be ready to take the payment in person. It's just, it's more work. So, but it is really fun. I really enjoy doing those events. Um, I've also started a part-time job. That wasn't really something I was planning or expecting. They kind of found me and yeah, it just, it all happened really fast. So I started that last week. So I've been trying to kind of gently ease myself into that because I've been working for myself for two and a half years now and that's a that's a big adjustment so it's been an adjustment so that's that's a big part of why I haven't made any videos lately so and going forward I am absolutely intending to still make YouTube videos. My uploads may just be a little more sporadic for the time being while I settle into things and get into a good routine. So yeah, I'm working in construction. I'm not doing any construction, don't worry. <laughs> Nobody would want that, but like kind of just office type of stuff for a construction company. And I don't think I want to say because I don't, you never know. There are some weird people out there. It's a construction company. That's all you need to know. And that this has always been my intention was to return to working in the construction industry. Um, I just wasn't expecting to right now, but the timing felt decent. It felt like a good opportunity. So I'm excited about it and we will see how it goes. And I'm definitely still keeping my business open and everything, but Please be patient with me while I figure things out. Okay, so yeah, that's my life update. And now I'll just go show you some plant updates. And I think there's some good ones. I've also got a lot of plants that are kind of struggling right now, which don't we all? <laughs> okay, sit. Good job, lay down. Lay down, good job. Sit, hey, sit, good job. Lay down. Lay down. Good job, May. Good job. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to show you, oh gosh, it's all tangled up in here. Well, I should have done this first. Oh God. Is how well my variegated micans is doing and the leaves are sizing up really well I unboxed this at the end of June and it's doing so well and look at these aerial roots and the next thing I want to show you is my little Dishidia hirsuta I think that it is blooming. So I'll keep you posted on what those end up looking like. I'm really excited. 
I really like how pink they are. I'm guessing those are blooms. I've never looked up what the blooms on this look like, but I'm gonna have to do that. I'm, that's probably what that is, if I had to guess. Okay, so here is my new, my newest leaf on my Philodendron Chironier. And it looks like it's already starting to get another one, so that's really exciting. I'm just in love with this plant and these textured leaves, so I'm really excited to watch that get bigger. Oh, and here is my new Alocasia collection. My friend Crystal sent me most of these. I think they are so pretty. I am not great with Alocasia, and I really, I want to become good at them. Look at this one. This is a variegated alocasia poly. I think that is so pretty. And I am determined to keep this alive, even though I killed my green version of this. That was one of the first plants I had though. And that's not really a good plant to start with. But look at this one. So cute. And this is, this is Filbert. I think it's like, um, you know when that stuff starts sprouting out of sphagnum moss? I think that's what filbert is. But I, I, I'm, I'm really a big fan of filberts. I think he's fun. Okay, so my, this is my Hoya manaparensis. And I talk about this plant a lot. And it is blooming. These blooms aren't that exciting, but I think they are really cute. This is one of my favorite Hoyas. So I'm just, I'm just happy that it's happy, you know? Okay, so here is my newest leaf on my Anthurium Warraquinum. And this is the last leaf. Right before this leaf appeared, this just like curled into this weird, weird thing. I can't find any pests on it. I have treated it. I really do not know why it would have done that. This this browning is fairly new, and I'm guessing it's going to drop this leaf now that this one is out and about. And it's a little bit kind of wavy, not perfectly leaf-like. I've just not ever really had that happen with an anthurium. I don't know, I just don't know why. So if you've had that happen, let me know. all over your face. Okay, so we got a pretty decent storm uh, two nights ago, I think, and my shade cloth tore completely in half down the middle. the heck so yeah love that so this is my temporary solution until I can get another one um, that one was custom made because of the amount of shade that I wanted um, they might have more things available now but I don't know so this is my temporary solution I'm hoping it works out for the time being maybe forever you never know so yeah, not ideal, but better than nothing. Okay, so you guys won't have seen this video yet, but Gary has a new friend. And it was dropping leaves left and right. And it's been in here for a few weeks now. I am making a video about it, but look at it. It's coming back. I'm so excited. I was, this was in worse shape than Gary was in. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy to see this one coming back. Also, here he is in all his glory. I ended up cutting this little side shoot off 
but I'm gonna keep this because I'm gonna hang a plant on it, of course. And yeah, I'm trying to root it. I, I don't have good luck rooting fiddle leaf figs, so we'll see. I wanted to show you this Anthurium Verde. So pretty. And here is the newest leaf. I'm so excited. I'm just loving how like ripply and these lobes, I'm just, I'm really excited about this leaf. And I don't know if you all remember when I Unbox this variegated philodendron subhastatum, but it is finally looking good again, and I'm so excited about this new leaf. Look at the back of that. Yeah, I'm so excited about this plant. This one took probably the longest to settle in and root and start growing and everything, so this is really the first actual new leaf I've gotten on here. So I am very pleased to see this. Okay, so here is how my Monstera Aurea is doing. Um, a while back, I didn't have any issues with browning, but I have had a little bit of browning going on here. Um, not terrible. I can deal with it for sure. But look at this new leaf. That's going to be so pretty. And this was, this was the leaf before that. I just love this plant. I wish I had gotten one sooner. I I was very off put by the price, so I just didn't do it for a long time, but I'm just a big fan of a nice variegated Monstera. Okay, so this is my variegated philodendron by Pinifolium. It was kind of, it was actually reverted for a while, but I took some cuttings and these are the new leaves I've gotten since then. And this one, I'm so excited about this one. I've wanted this plant for a long time. So I'm really looking forward to seeing it mature and look less like a variegated Burl Marks and more like a variegated Bipinifolium. I, I love a good, Philodendron by Pinifolium. They're just one of my old favorites and always will be. They're very underrated in my opinion. Okay, I know a while back I had mentioned my Philodendron Majestic that I had left in this really bizarre stick. Um, so it has come back and it is looking so pretty. I love Philodendron Majestic so much. I think it's one of my all time favorites. Oh, hey, look, I'm also getting a new Amedrium Silver Leaf. That's so exciting. Okay, so I'm over here with my Philodendron Gigas that I have growing up. Gary here. I took some cuttings because things got out of hand and I just did it. I was gonna make a video and I I didn't. So here is one growth point. Here's another right there. Oh hey we're getting a third one right? Hopefully you can see that. So yeah that's that's gonna be cool. There's three active growth points on this plant right now. It's gonna be backlit but I always like showing my Epiprimnum panatum. I can't believe that it got this much bigger just over the summer. This pot down here was, I cut it back to like almost nothing because it looked so bad at the beginning of summer. And look at it now.
Okay, so I recently took a cutting of my variegated Syngonium Chia Pins. And look at that. We already have a new leaf and it's variegated. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see that leaf. And I, the top cutting is rooted and potted and it is coming with me to the Joplin plant swap. So come to the Joplin plant swap if you're local and it's gonna go on my site if you're not. And also, I moved this elbow out here in a video not too long ago, maybe like a month or so, and it has started growing again. I wasn't getting a lot of new leaves in the house, so I'm happy to see that. I wonder if the other, I'm a little worried about this back here. Oh, this is a new leaf. I don't like it, but it's a new leaf. There's a little bit of green. So I think I'm gonna have to start hacking into that again. That'll be fun. That actually will be fun. It sounded sarcastic, but it's not, I promise. And the Glorious is doing well. This thing, I don't know what this is, whatever. This was not doing well in the house, but after like a week or two out here, it started putting out new leaves, so. I think it probably just needed more heat and humidity and light. Okay, so I think that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to I just wanted to chat for a second. Um yeah, so I am planning on getting back into the groove of making videos now that I've had my little uh, blip, I guess you could say. And I actually, I was dreading this for some reason, which I hate, but after I've made it, I feel so much better. I just feel, I feel more inspired just after walking around out here showing you a couple of new leaves. So that's a really good sign, I think. I'm gonna get back into it and we're gonna get back to enjoying our plants. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Queen City Tropicals and I'll see you again soon.